Hello skater friends, I'm Victor Tharp, Olympic speed skater, and today I'm gonna to show you four positions that you as a speed skater, inline skater, you must know these positions, not just technically, but you also gotta be strong in these positions. Because I believe that these four positions are the foundation to good skating. So if you're comfortable in those and you're able to move around in between these positions, you're very likely to be a good skater already. No matter how good you are, I do think, and I do encourage you to practice these very often. I do it myself, especially leading up to my season, and then in the season, I do it as maintenance. As you can see in this video today, I am using We Are Bands, um, something I've tried for a little while now, and I do find it incredibly useful. They gave me a 20% discount code that I'll put in the description below. So if you wanna try these as well, well, you are good to go with that discount code. The reason I use them is because, especially when doing dry line training and movements like these, they just apply extra resistance. And skating is all about muscle activation. Obviously, skating is not the natural movements of the body. Otherwise, we'd be good at it right away. We're not. Um, so these just give a little more resistance. They're good for coordination. And whatever time you put into your skating and your practice, you're just gonna get more out of it when you have resistant bands. So I'm a big fan of these. Also get them for the hands. In this video, I'm gonna focus on the leg movement, the leg strength. So I'm only gonna use them for the legs. Quite simple, as you can see. It's really just bands that are attached here. So a bit like you know from banded squats, these are gonna apply extra resistance, especially up here. So just more muscle activation and you're gonna get stronger from the exercises you do. But now let's get to those four exercises. Surprise, surprise, the first movement position is the basic position. I explained this in other videos, but I do feel like it deserves a mention here because it is really the most essential position. It's from that position that everything starts when we're skating. There's a few different key things you want to make sure you have on point when you get into that position. So ideally, it's a 90 degree knee bend here. You can check that in multiple ways. If your fist fits perfectly, well, you're pretty good already. So get down here. You can take your elbows out here. If they're rested, there's a good chance you have your upper body in the correct position. Make sure it's relaxed. If it's relaxed without bending forward, you should be able to touch your toes, your heels, and have the elbows out here. Relax your neck. Don't try and force yourself to look too much up. Also not down, because I mean, we do want to know where we're going. If you look at it from the front, you see my feet pointing straight forward, not out, not like that. They're also aligned and you have about two fists here in between, shoulder width between the shoes. And if you look at it from the side, you will find that my knees are a bit out, so are my shoulders. So you should be able to draw a line all the way up here. And that's the first position. Second position is the same idea, but on one leg. Why is that? Because we always, if we skate well, we're always on one leg. We should always try and minimize the time that we spend on two legs. So first position was really just for you to understand the whole position of the body, not to have two feet planted on the ground. You'd want to be on one so we can apply all that pressure, all that body weight and make that energy and speed. So next exercise, start out the same way. You can even start by finding this first position and then you get onto one leg. The other leg here, well now I'm using my band so I do actually train my hamstrings, my glutes a little more than you would. But the thing is that this should be perfectly hanging down here. Again, you should have the elbow be able to touch here, and then that should be your position. If you look at it from the front, common mistake, some wobbly knees, especially why these bands make it better, or it's a good workout, because that will put some extra tension, extra resistance. So even though when you're here, I mean, usually I would only have the weight of my body, but with the bands, there is some extra resistance which is very similar to the resistance you find as you're inline skating. Because there is gonna be some force. Obviously, it's not just gonna be the body weight. When you push off, you're gonna have more tension, which we can really imitate well with the bands here. So get down, stable knees. Don't let this point away, or the feet, or the leg. If that opens up like that, it's a very, very big chance you're gonna try and compensate. So everything aligned, like we did the first position, and then we just find it here. 
moving on to position number three. This is a skating stroke. Well, of course, if you just stand here in the middle, you're not gonna make any speed. Next one, we get to the point where we extend. Again, this is one of the hard ones when you're using the bands, because you do extend to the side. So, everything comes back to that first basic position. Toe, knee, shoulder, parallel pointing forward. Have all the weight on this, and you just get down here and practice how that feels. You can also make it a movement by smoothly shifting the body weight from side to side. But the thing we really want to work on here is this. Because a lot of people, when pushing off, things fly out of position. Equals no speed. I use these because personally, I feel like I got it under control when not using the arms. Could be because I'm a long distance skater. But when putting on the upper body resistant we are bands, I do also use that. Because otherwise, for me, it's not just about the arm strength. I, I struggle with the core strength to actually hold that arm swing. We're here, there's even more to it. because I do really have to hold this and be able to push there. So another way to do extra work when you're doing your work. So that's the next exercise, in position and like that. Which also leads us to the fourth and final position, which is the same position, except now you've got to get comfortable having your leg up in the air. With resistance bands, it's very difficult because it's not just a matter of lifting up with the glutes you still gotta activate the quads as you lift it up. So we go down to position we just came from. Basic position where all good things start and then push to the side. And then by using your glute, still activating your quads, you lift it up. So things that can happen if you're not very experienced with this is that as soon as you lift this up, your upper body will go to the other side, like this. This is where you really gotta use the outside of your quad here Make sure, if you have a mirror, look at that, that it's all in position when you lift it up. Check We Are Bands out. I use them for basically all my dry lands since I, I came across these. I think they're great. Also, thanks a lot for watching this video. There is a lot more dry land on my channel. Hope you want to check that out and hope you want to tune in for my next episode. I'm Victor, thanks a lot. My last piece of advice is for you to join me as an investor in the VCC. It's a cryptocurrency that I believe is crypto of the future and I think it will only go up from here. I'm an investor myself and as a VIP ambassador, if you use the link below, you will get 100 coins just for signing up to the platform. Hope to see you there.